Hi, welcome to ARTV. I'm your host, Morgan Ray. Joining us from the Mars Gallery is Belle Basson, an experimental visual artist. Welcome to the show, Belle. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start right where um, we met, which is in Mars, and you have your exhibition. And this was, it's a, it's a body of work that covers sculpture, painting, um, even video. Mm -hmm. How did that even start? Like, okay, so um, this body of work, um, actually started three years ago so um, th there's sort of a break because of COVID but that generally a body of work is about two years or so for me um, and it started it actually started with this question about how images arrive in the mind of artists so I was sort of looking at some early female abstractionists which quite funny, there's like a Hilma F. Klimt show on at the moment at the Art Gallery of New South Wales and she was one of the artists I was looking at where a lot of early female abstractionist artists, um, their practices have this sort of uh, tangential relationship to form. A lot of them have like spiritualist practices that they were sort of merging together. And so I felt like in that experimental space between kind of spiritualism and the envisioning of sort of forms in art practice, you kind of sort of have this little world where a whole lot of these artists were trying to kind of have relationships with forms like so if you think about that mental space it's kind of a bit hard to talk about but like either we're trying to imagine something or something is arriving from outside of us like whichever way that it's happening in this body of work wanted to try and preserve that ethereal kind of nature of a form and so I basically continually approached so like a form that's arriving behind me right now um, I continually approached these forms like in a range of different media so I sort of tried them as choreographies and as sound scores and as drawing like drawing is probably the first kind of point in my practice where I'll do lots of sketches I first tried it on a train station in Greece with a few other artists and then eventually I sort of brought in more collaborators and we took it to Bunnings and because um, it just kind of felt right at the time so yeah. Right, <laughs> from Greece to Bunning. So yeah. obviously it started um, before COVID, like you said, three yeah. years ago. when you could leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then landed in Bunnings, and then you actually had some time to, to work on this. And what you see behind me is a little yeah. bit of all yeah. the process. Yeah, so I basically, like I have this huge process where I just keep drawing and just keep reimagining the work. And actually sort of at a halfway point I showed the work at Temperance Hall in a much more kind of experimental way where I had performances happening every 11 minutes and sound scores kind of going off in the space um, and when I was showing it there I kept running to Bunnings to repair things like <laughs> like to get more nuts and bolts and then while I was in, in Bunnings I was like oh I actually really love this space like something about those aisles I was like oh it kind of made me you know that feeling when they play really good music in like a shopping center or yeah. something and you want to dance? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically that where I was like, oh, actually, I really want to dance in this space. And so I sort of moved the girls, um, these three dancers that I was working with and um, Prue Lang, a choreographer that I was working with as well. Um, yeah. And we went to Bunnings and quickly filmed it there and they were very kind to us. <laughs> and like, <laughs> allowed us to shut down the aisle. So it was really nice. Yeah. I, I love that mix of art in unexpected spaces, mm. such as, as a hardware store. Yeah. And then <laughs> uh, you used like this form and traced it and it became, well not traced it, but you explored it and it became that um, painting that we kind of saw going around on the graphic and yeah it, it's such once you explain that to me um, I, I, it, I did connect further with your work I mean no yeah. being in um, the public space like when you filmed these what were some of the reactions um, so Bunnings was great like um, they're sort of this is the most like um, like visited the aisle the nuts and bolts aisle and so um, there was a crowd of people by the time we'd finished filming. I think we only filmed for like 20 minutes, but it caused um, a, a big crowd who were waiting to get their nuts and bolts and they all were really positive about it. They were all kind of hugging and when I turned around there was all these kind of couples hugging and watching like a contemporary dance piece, which was quite beautiful. Oh, and wow. the guys that ran the aisle were like, well, we've never had anything like this in the aisle before. <laughs> and, um, 
Yeah, and it, uh, well, at the train station in Greece, we got kicked out. So that's kind of like, which is a quite a normal thing. Like mm. we, um, another artist, Nathan Gray, filmed for us. And so he was on the other side of the platform and we'd sort of got halfway through the shuffle when a train went by and then suddenly he was like, I hope you enjoyed that because we have to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you want. I love train stations and places like that because I find them so cinematic, but I've been kicked out of a lot of them, but they let us keep our footage, so I was quite happy. <laughs> like, when, yeah. In some ways, yeah. yeah. You've created all this work and then you are kind of restrained to what yeah. can be shown, but you, you know, giving a sampling of this body of work, what you're capable of, the ideas. Um, it's, yeah. it's quite strong and I love how you met, you could see this, you know, having the performances in it and bringing it to life. I mean, when I was at your opening, there was someone laying on the floor being photographed oh, in yeah. between <laughs> the pieces and it, it just added another layer to it. So yeah. do you see these? going into a performance series series if if there were funding yeah like it? if i was funded i would definitely love to show all the performances so, yeah the um jasmine solomon who wrote the catalog essay um who knew about all those performances was like ah oh, it's kind of it'd be great if we could just do something and she was like i know i'll just lie down myself <laughs> so, like, <laughs> and so she did and there is kind of when i um look at this body of work there's kind of all these performances that exist so in its ideal space there's performers that come out and just in sort of inhabit these choreographies for 10 minutes while the dancers are walking uh, while the audience is walking around so um i see my installations as one larger pictorial plane so it's like if you thought of it as one painting with a whole lot of parts that are all broken up into the gallery and then um, the performances sort of inhabit that larger pictorial plane. So it is kind of like restricted when I'm showing in this way. And I always kind of hope um, that I'll get some kind of museum showing for it where there's a bit more funding and I can pay all the performances to happen. Um, but it was pretty nice to just show it as it was. There was still this kind of um, amazing sense of completion of just going, okay, something is represented from everything and I can just call that done. <laughs> you mentioned this other, um, I guess, body of work that you're starting. Is that yeah. what's next for you or what should we yeah. look for? I was in New York. Um, I did a residency at ICP um, just um, before we all had to race home. And um, I got really interested in my Jewish heritage, which isn't something that I have ever kind of explored because I'm not usually... Um, interested in kind of identity um, politics too much, like I, um, in my own practice. Um, yeah, but while I was in New York, there's other Jewish artists there and I was like, there was just this sense of some kind of um, like family connection there. And then, um, so I've been talking to the, and then this other project came up with the Holocaust Museum. And so I've been sort of lightly looking into things, which it's a hard subject to explore because, um, because of the kind of uh, Holocaust stories in my family, I think there's um, some aspect of avoidance of like wanting to go that deeply into some of the traumas. And there's also, um, yeah, it's kind of a hard one because like there, there's a, there are Holocausts in many different cultures. Being an Australian person, like so many friends of mine from different cultures that have all suffered different things. And it's not something that I've really wanted to explore before, but I think also having a seven-year-old daughter that like is interested herself, that's kind of made me look more into things. So I've been kind of um, drawing and kind of hearing family stories and have been planning out these kind of uh, drawing-based works that are sort of these large grids, which is something that I used to do earlier in my practice where I'd do these large sort of grids of, um, like really large drawings that I used to call obliteration drawings, where it's just kind of very fine detail in, across these huge grids. Um, so it sort of relates back to those works. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sorry if that's a bit everywhere. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's it's quite an yeah. interesting journey and um, really relevant to what's going on now. So um, we'll see what where that carries yeah. you. Yeah. So, um, well, Thanks for coming on this show. We can find you at the Mars Gallery um, and you have a studio in St. Kilda. Is, yeah. Well, thanks yeah. for coming on. Okay, thanks thank you for you having down. me.
What a lovely interview with Belle. She really took it in a direction that I hadn't imagined. And there's so much depth and thought behind her body of work. The diversity of the artists coming through now, uh, loving it. And her video, uh, the work, uh, well, she said that she, she started in a train station in Greece. And got so, kicked out. Right. Yeah. And then uh, hearing that she ended up at Bunnings and they closed to Nile and th it brought a lot of happiness. Uh, yeah, uh, people, like the couples, couples hugging, were watching. Like, like, how lovely. Is that? I mean, and impromptu performance dance in Bunnings Hardware, nuts and bolts. Oh, that's fantastic. What a concept. I know. I wish I would have been there to discover that. Yeah. yeah. Also like the way that she um, used the connection with spiritualism and some materialism and worked with all the mediums uh, along the whole journey. But I think there's a lot of uh, sketching, drawing, um, which is everybody, you know, it seems to be a common thing uh, in, in their prep. But wow, look what it, what, look what it leads to. And all the work, I mean, three years uh, yeah. to to do this body and it's only a sampling of yeah. what was created. So yeah. there is a nod to that editing and, and using the restrictions for your benefit and mm. all that goes into doing an exhibition and yeah. what you have to go through. Yeah. Tony, you actually were part of a performance art piece. Oh yes, I was a part of your performance art piece mm -hmm. in the park, um, playing uh, the character Brahma Rama and his astral um, advantage. Right, and you had been working on this body of work for the past 20 years. Started 20 years ago, yeah, but it's just another angle, um, another um, part of the whole overall production. But, but it was great fun. Get into character, put some costume on, get into the park, have some fun with the punters out there, the public. And yeah, it was great. It was a nice reception for the art and it was always nice to get feedback. So yeah, a positive experience and fun. Do some um, acting, especially outdoors and impromptu, you know, not the big show, not lights, it's so nice. Well, and I was moved by the dedication to your mother and doing that piece that she yeah. never got to listen to. So. If you'd like to be part of ARTV, just shoot us an email at ideas at studioemedia.com.au. Thanks for joining us. See you later.